subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to Sinistra Alpha 19. So last episode we invested a point in our mini bike and already stored my inventory over here. Food and water not doing too great so let's just eat one of our stews. I didn't even realize we looted a stew last episode. Um, I wonder if I should keep the bow on me at all. We have a little bit more ammo over here so I dropped this just now. There's no point in keeping that on us and just encumbering ourselves further. Um, at the trade I want to see if, he sh if she has gunpowder or like for example a battery and engine and stuff so we don't have to wrench our own stuff. Um, over here we do need to make so long the t uh, the wheels and stuff required. So just check wheel. Uh, okay so we need 4 oil, 32 polymers. Okay 32 polymers, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, 4 oil, 1, 2, 3, 4. I want to make sure we get everything as we go into those containers. Okay, so we have the acid. We just need 20 coal and then 4 forged iron. I think I'm going to have to craft myself a year more. Um, let's just use the frames. Why not? Okay, so we need 4 of these. Like so. We might just need more for the minibike. So I'm going to make as much as possible. And that isn't that much because as you guys can see, we're out of iron again. I need to go for an iron node as soon as we see one on the map. I haven't really come across one that's actually usable. Okay, and then what else? We need 20 coal. If I can get this bicycle craft, uh, crafted, then why not? Oh, rather the mini bike. Then we don't have to use stamina to traverse the hills and stuff. Okay, or I say hills, but I haven't really seen many hills except that one over there. This town is pretty flat, and I love it. And it's so huge that it's actually a very big uh, surface that is flat. Okay, um, this I want to keep on with me just in case we need to stitch up s cuts and stuff. And then mini bike, mini bike. What do we need for the mini bike? Chassis we need. I wonder if it's just, we're gonna have enough stuff because leather alone. Oh, we do have leather. Nice. Okay. Uh, mechanical parts. Okay, now we won't have enough mechanical parts. We need to wrench more stuff. And then we need duct tape and forged iron. So duct tape. We're definitely gonna not gonna have enough resources. So I should also see if the trader has perhaps everything else we need. Perhaps the trader has more stuff that we could be using. So let's just do that. Grab the stuff we're going to sell. Oh, that's going to use a little more repair kit. I don't want to repair that then. Especially since it's, only, it's, it's a level 1. It's not going to sell for much. It's just going to be wasting resources. Okay. Should be able to use that. And that is the chassis itself. I miss being able to make the chassis inside the forge. That was just iron and clay. Now it's so many more things to make the chassis. Okay. And handlebars over here. What are we going to require? Now we don't have enough for this. Okay. We need mechanical parts. We need two springs and a light. Two springs and a light. See, we're so close. We literally only need the mechanical parts, I think. Okay, we have four. Oh, we need four leather. We have six. The stuff I don't need right now, I'm just going to put away. Just so we know we're not too encumbered. We, we can just craft and not worry about the rest of the stuff. And electrical parts are only going to require one. So the rest of this we can put away. Okay. That means handlebars, we should now be able to... Oh wait, you need two parts. I was looking at the wrong recipe. Two parts, like so. Now I have everything, yes. Uh, six short iron pipes. It's actually easier having everything in one um, bundle like this. Usually I have different containers for the parts and the car parts and all that stuff. Oh wait, there's still iron in there. Hello, hello, why are you hiding there? You're going right here, I need more of this. Okay, and... I know, that's too much. With 15 iron, it's going to cook in insanely fast. So now we just do this. And that's all, right? We just need mechanical parts. Three more. Um, is there anything else over here we can range from mechanical Yeah, I think there is. We didn't... Ooh, clear this whole place. Although we need to go inside to do it because I haven't made a hole on that side yet. I want as few as possible holes in this place so we don't have to worry later on. Now my wrench, thank you. Also guys, I'm actually regretting the fact that I didn't go for the um, salvation. Is it salvation? Yeah, salvage. Salvation, salvage. I didn't go for this one because this gives you more chance at better loot. And especially since we need the uh, engine and the battery, we need to be able to take stuff apart and get the most out of it. Okay, so we need three more mechanical parts. Didn't really get any mechanical parts from that. Uh, the hitbox on this is still a bit off, unfortunately. They only give electrical parts. Is there anything over here that's going to give mechanical? I think these only give electrical and stuff that actually move. Like the wheels on a shopping cart and stuff like that. That gives you the mechanical parts. So this is just a waste of time, I think. We need like uh, air conditioners and those items. 
Okay, that sucks. We need also something for stamina. I keep running out of stamina way too fast. Okay, so if I can see a... Oh, did I touch the air conditioner on the back of here? If not mistaken, this place also has an air conditioner. And also, there's consoles over there. I don't... I can't remember if the consoles actually give you mechanical parts, though. So I don't want to go there, test it, and then I wasted time for nothing. Although, in this place, there might just be... So I'm just going to check. I think I wrenched everything of note. Yeah, I wrenched everything. Damn it. I thought there might be more to this place that I'm able to wrench. Do you tell me the zombies have respawned over here? I have no idea how fast the respawn works right now. So I could have easily come down here and be, I've been swarmed by zombies. Okay, unfortunately, we're going to have to look for air conditioners and stuff like that. Did I get air conditioners over here? I can't remember seeing any of that. I don't want to go for the consoles if the consoles are not going to give me mechanical parts. Although they might just. So let's see if I can buy three mechanical parts and gunpowder and engine and battery. If not, I'm going to have to look for the engine and battery while out exploring. And I need to get into the habit of double tapping E for that one so it closes behind me. It's just much easier than looking for the hitbox on the door. I've got the best selection of medicine in the wasteland. Why is your mouth not moving while you're talking, lady? Okay, so six... Oh, look at this. Although it's 6,000. If I just had more stuff to sell, this would be awesome. Okay, gunpowder, there's a lot of. So we need gunpowder, we need first mechanical parts. Which you don't have. Are you kidding me? Seriously, I need it. Okay, it's a shame her jobs are also far away. And machete schematic. How long do we look for this in the modded versions where you actually need to have the schematic? Okay, anyways. um, Wait, can I make... Oh, no, I can't. For a moment, I thought I might be able to make the advanced bellows. Okay, so no mechanical parts, only gunpowder. No batteries or engines or anything like that. So I'm going to have to wrench a ton of cars and hope for the best. The only problem is with my low level, I'm going to wrench and wrench and wrench and wrench and wrench. And you guys get the point. Okay, double barrel. Ooh, 6.4 as well. We need stuff to sell. So I need to actually loot 100,000 for the gyrocopter. We need to loot a ton of stuff, guys. We need to focus on getting the loot skill up as well so we loot faster. And perhaps get a chance at better items as well. Damn, this is expensive. Okay, so I'm going to get the gunpowder at least for more buck, buck shots. Oh, uh, blunder shot. Blunder bus ammo. Technically, that's buck shot in my opinion. Um, I mean, it's almost the same thing. I should have probably just first sold everything and see how much cash I have then. Oh, I might have been able to... No, all the guns are 3,000 plus. Remember that I thought, oh crap, I missed out. Then. Okay, so we need mechanical parts. Which of your eyes is the closest? We just need three mechanical parts and then we're set for now. So even though we're not going to loot the building, we just need a place that has an air conditioner. I wonder if I should just quickly check the gas factory over here, the oil factory. There might be a air conditioner to that I missed, and we could test it, uh, the consoles. Who knows, perhaps the consoles also give you mechanical parts. I can't remember what does and what doesn't. I know cars, if you wrench them, they'll give you a chance. But I think this uh, level that you can't loot, just the frame, doesn't really give you... Oh, it does! Okay, spoke too soon. Oh, please... Only one thus far, two. Give me one more, one more, one more. Yes! Okay, so now we can make the handlebars. But now we need to wrench more cars. Because we need to be able to get... Let's just get over here. We need to be able to get that engine and battery as well. As soon as we have that, we have a mini bike. So this episode, we're going to wrench... As we loot all the places, we're just going to wrench all the cars. Um, unfortunately, I only have a level 1 wrench. But we do have a repair kit. So if it breaks, we all almost break, we can just repair it. I still believe that you need to be able to, uh, if something doesn't work, it needs to break. For example, when the quality runs out on a tool, you need to, uh, uh, it breaks, so you can't repair it. Um, it gives you like one or two shots after it says you can't use it anymore, and then it breaks. So that you have to repair your stuff sooner or, or whatever. Okay, handlebars, one minute something. Okay, so we're going to need one more mechanical part, but wrenching cars will give that to us. Uh, because of the fact that we're going to need to be able, okay, wait, need paper. Oh, we don't have enough paper, do we? Oh, wait, there's more here. I was about to say something just now, and I it completely slipped my mind just now. See, I'm I'm running overdrive. I'm thinking of too many things at the same time, and I need to stop doing that. Because something I wanted to say something important just now. I know it was something important, but I can't remember what it was. Wrenching cars. I was talking about stuff breaking. Damn, I completely forgot just now. Okay, gunpowder goes in there. Resources go over here. The wheels I need to put with this, so I know exactly... No, not this. With this. So I know exactly where the wheels are. We just now need one mechanical part. 
and we need the engine and battery as soon as we have that guys we are set now the rest of the stuff we can just dump for now because this is just going to take up space that we can't afford to lose right now if this belt was one longer i need to be able to put my oh i can do this i want to say i need to be able to put my barbed fences down although with this iron and this wood we should be able to make quite a few more barbs i just want to make sure that the zombies are slowed down yeah, that way. Okay, so I just wasted a little bit of iron. That's fine. We need an iron node on the map as well. So I need to wrench the iron nodes and I need to wrench... Oh, wrench. I need to break the iron nodes and wrench cars. That's the right way of saying it. Okay, um, and we need more traders. I actually forgot to check the XMLs. I've just been so busy. We need to check the XMLs and see if there's any um, traders in the vicinity over here. Especially if there's a trader in the vicinity of that uh, the trader quest we need to do already west. Then it gives me a reason to go west. Because at least then there's another trader waiting for me. Ooh. O'Malley's factory. Wait. O'Malley's oats. It's a small factory, but it's a factory. Okay, so we need to kill zombies. Wait, where are you? Okay, you can break through to me. That's going to save me time later getting in there. But now I'm just going to focus on getting these zombies and getting out of here. Okay, so this is reloaded. This is reloaded. I'm going to make sure all my shots are reloaded so I don't worry later on. If I'm not mistaken, there's loot in the roof. Um, so hopefully the secret stash actually gives us something awesome. And then bird's nest around places I'm going to start looting. As you guys saw while driving on my bicycle, you can't really stop for the bird's nest that are there. Ooh. And coal right next door. I think I just quickly want to get this one layer, guys, so we can start putting iron in. Oh, wow, the iron... Oh, there was no iron ore in vanilla. I was about to say, why am I not getting any iron ore over here? Okay. Uh, I should probably get this iron as well, since it makes one stack anyways. Did that zombie... Oh, the zombie's still there. I wanted to know if it got out or not. The only problem is if I go for the zombie now, will it wake up its friends? I'm going to be able to take this guy out so he doesn't, or she doesn't, come for me later. Stand up. And... Boom. And now we reload. And... We reload. So that's the only problem with using the two right next to each other like this. And there's more zombies coming. I don't want to wake up the whole building, but I just did. Okay, uh, iron I'm going to keep for now. We need to start smelting more iron down, so I can't afford to waste it. Watch out so no zombies can fall in from the roof, but it seems like it's very shallow, so nothing can survive up there. Guys, we need a mining helmet light as soon as possible. I didn't really check the trader to see if she had some. We need a light, so even indoors it's a little bit brighter so you guys can see better. This leads outside. Oh, it was open. I didn't even realize it was open. Okay, this is already looted, untouched. I'm gonna make sure I don't make too much noise and get caught off guard by a zombie. Hello, hello, hello. Where are you? Oh wow. I hate it when that happens. You don't really fall in, but it feels like you do. As I'm only gonna use a, a second blunder bus if we're in a pinch like this. Then I'll, I'll use it. Otherwise, there's no point. It's just gonna waste time if you switch between the two. And you have to reload both of them. It's only when zombies are right on top of me that I'll consider using both. Now, I wish I had my... Shovel, yeah. I could easily make one, but even with a stone shovel, it's going to take forever to get these resources. So later, I need to come back to places like this and get the rest of the stuff. I just feel that now, it's going to, especially with a stone shovel, it's going to take forever. Um, as soon as we have a steel shovel and we can one-shot block, one shot these blocks, then yes, that's definitely worth it. This only gives scrap polymers. Oh, gives iron. That's first. I could have sworn that gives you scrap polymers, like the janitorial cards. I hope I'm getting, starting to get sick. Especially since we're back in the creation, if I get sick, people are going to think I have COVID. Um, because I, it feels like my nose is getting stuffy, and I, need, I sneeze a lot these days. So it might just be a little bit of sinus infection or something. And there is a loot drop. How far away? Not that far, but I mean, unfortunately, it's right on top of the hill over there. And my, I want to see what the loot drops in this game give you now. Is it better to actually go for them? Or do they still suck? And now where are you, lady? Hello, hello, hello. Boom! Took your head clean off. Just to make sure there's no sleep as a honey. Oh, hello. Ooh, you gave me a pride just now. Oh, crap. No, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. I missed both shots. How's that possible? Boom. And... Oh, this one's also not reloaded. See, now I'm going to have to remember to reload both of these. Oh, crap. Oh, you just got way faster. Okay, I need to work on my reload speed as well. As you guys can see over here on my clothing... I put the bandolier mod on this one. On this one I put improvised fittings and it is improvised, right? Improved fittings. And on this one I put 
the um, a thing just to help me cool down and help with heat and stuff. So yeah, even the crappy armor I have on at the moment, um, all of it is serving a purpose. Hello, hello. I didn't reload my gun yet, so please die. I need to make sure that both these guns are reloaded. Yes, they are. Okay, cool. I can't afford to have both unloaded again when I go out. Ooh. And I just realized I damaged the chair of yes. So I can't even pick that up. Ooh, nice jacket and a wall safe of here. Nice. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, this is untouched. Wait. Where are you? Oh, there's actually a uh, wall over here, a walkway. Hello, can I just see you like this? Oh, he dodged it just now. When he stumbled like that, his head dodged. And, oh, that was a bad shot. Come on, come on, come on. I need to stop wasting shots like this, especially with my limited amount of ammo. It almost feels like a wandering world coming out, but that might just be from the radio tower next door that all these zombies are coming from. Hello, can I see your head, please? Show me your head. Show me your head. Boom, there you go. Okay, now I just need to open this up and hope nothing falls in from on top. Especially with my back turned right now. Yes, first try again. As soon as it goes past one second, you know, okay, cool, it's going to take. Now this... Damn, but repairing it's not going to do that much of a difference if the quality is already that high. Um, I wanted to say that I could sell that perhaps, but it's going to be better in my opinion if we just scrap it. We need the, uh, the leather more than we need the cash at the moment. This, however, we're going to keep. I mean, cold resist, I should actually put that on, but then run speed goes down. I want to be able to run faster, especially when you're encumbered. Run speed is a lot. It means a lot. Okay, so we need to go upstairs over there. Just to make sure I didn't uh, miss any loot or lose any loot over here. And then we only have three torches. Why? I can't remember if I lo lost on last episode. Reload. At least they're coming for me over here in a straight line. And this one. Boom. Okay, now unfortunately I didn't get the hit on the guy behind him. That's bad. Oh, he just hit me, didn't he? I can't see the blood exactly because of the darkness over here. But he definitely just had a shot on me. Okay, so we're going to close that. There should be, yep, there's more zombies outside, and we need to check out all the layers of here. It might just be, yep, there's a ammo pile right there. You just need to remember to check spots like that, because it's a nice way to hide, ooh, to hide ammo and stuff. And you need the ammo, especially in the beginning of the game. Okay, make sure both guns are reloaded. There's no, ooh, there's another stash of here. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was just paper or something. And I'm getting so much ammo, if you guys noticed. I'm getting so much ammo at the moment. Um, yet. Oh crap, close that. I, we don't have the guns for them yet. Okay, this one as well. Unfortunately, they weren't behind each other perfectly. I wouldn't be able to shoot both of them at the same time. Um, I hate it when they do that. They line up, but they don't really line up. You can technically shoot through them, just like with a shotgun. But your timing and your aim need to be perfect, so you don't accidentally waste shots like I just did. I love the fact that on the map, on the screen over here, it shows you exactly how far away the items are. That is so cool. Okay, um, that we should actually put on one of the clothing pieces. I can actually put it on over here, I think. This has, ooh, but it already has uh, improved fittings. And we can't take any of these off because they go on those mods. Wait, do I have two boots on? Why, that, why did that have a number two just now? Okay, so unfortunately we can't equip that, but we can make a little bit of space elsewhere. Do we have feathers? Yes. Okay, so there's one more slot open right now. Need to make sure all guns are reloaded at all times, because you guys saw what happens if it's not. Okay, there we go. Please don't tell me there's a vulture. I suck at aiming at the vultures with this gun. They have to be super close into your face. See, that's uh, there's a loot. They have to be so up in your face before you actually get a proper shot on the vultures. So the sooner we get a better gun from our game stage being high enough, the better. We need better guns. Okay, so there's going to be zombies over here, sleepers. Need to watch out for them. Um, vultures at all? Nope. Ooh, army guy. I might just have to place my... Oh, you actually woke up. I might have to place my... Frames down over here. My barbed wire. I don't know why I get confused between barbed wire, frames, and... Ooh, there's ladder over here, isn't there? And spikes. Okay, yes, 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 yes. There seems to be good loot over here. Please tell me that's open. That's 7,000, so my lockpicks are going to break if it's not open. At least the stone axe doesn't take as much stamina as in the beginning of the game. 
When I first started the save, guys, it took forever. Okay, let's see. Scrap. Chuck. More ammo and stuff to sell. That's always welcome. Stone arrows. Yeah, why not? We have a slot already for it. Although, I don't know why I have a slot for it. If you're not using it at the moment. Oh, but I still have the bow on me. I wanted to drop it, but I completely forgot to do so. Okay. Um, and we have our bicycle, so we need to put stuff in there. But first, let's make more. Okay, we need wood. Okay, um, just one wood. No, no, no. Oh, that's too much. I want to make sure we clear space, not use up space. We have enough stone at the base. This we can drop. I don't know if you actually use that for something else. Uh, farm plot. What does that require? Farm plot, rotting flesh. Okay, we don't need the sandwiches. Although the sandwiches I think you might need for like, um, your pills and stuff. Yes, you can jump down here. And pulls and stuff, I mean like uh, the antibiotics and stuff like that. Ooh, hello. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. The zombie inside or around the side? Which is it? Sounds like it's around the side. Hello. Oh, there you are. But the more kills I get, the better. We need the XP. Or rather, we need the skill points. There you go. And what is out here? Just zombies. I thought those were zombie corpses. Oh, there's zombies on the other side trying to break through, but I don't know if it's the next PRI or this PRI. I'm guessing it's the next one. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, wow. Look at the damage they did over here. They keep sliding along as they do damage. But they are a little bit dumb if you look at, uh, think about it, because instead of breaking the bottom one, they keep just sliding and doing more damage to the wall or to the second layer over here. They should be smart enough to know, okay, just break through the bottom one. Okay, and can I get to this side? I should be able to use this and save some ammo. I've been wasting way too much blunderbuss ammo at the moment. There are more zombies trying to get out. I should actually wrench these cars while I'm here. We don't have access to a lot of cars. I've, I thought there would be more cars out here. But clearly there's not. Especially if you're only going for the outskirts. <gasps> That's a waterworks. Isn't it? No, it's a water tower. Damn it. That looked like a waterworks tower just now. Okay, but we should be able to quickly get... You know, just make sure all of these are ready to go. Um, especially if a zombie surprises us, we need to be able to shoot fast. So we're going to do this, and just quickly break through all of these. Now I'm even going to go for these because they do have a chance of mechanical parts, and we m might just need mechanical parts later on. Okay, so if I, I'm going to do it like this, guys. If you can't loot it like that one, it's level 1, level 2, and then that full car is level 3. We need more level 2 cars. Level 3 cars as well, but you first need to remove a layer. We need batteries, we need engines, and I just hope we don't have to wrench the whole town just to get those items. I mean, we're so close to getting the minibike, and at the moment, it's not looking good. And, oh, yes, 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 I looted a battery. Please tell me I'm going to wrench a engine right now, or an engine right now. Okay, so I dropped all my stone, right? So why do I have, why do I have this on me then? I need to make space. Although, the bicycle. Why don't I just drop it on the bicycle? Especially if I need to run away from a zombie, I can't afford to be encumbered like this. I probably shouldn't say anything, but it's been a really long time since I've seen a wandering dog ward or something like that. I hate it when I say stuff like that and all of a sudden oh, a dog ward shows up. That's just how bad my luck is sometimes. Okay, the rest of the stuff can stack, so there's no point in putting that away. Um, tokens perhaps can be put away, we're not going to get more of that. We might get more old cash. This we can actually scrap. And ammo we can put away. So we're still encumbered, but at least by just three items. You can actually already see I'm moving faster right now. Hello! So you heard me and decided to pay a visit. It looks like he wants to hug you. Just now, if I didn't shoot, he'd definitely have hugged me and did some damage to me. Oh, you're breaking out over there to the left. I just realized I'm moving away from the loot drop. We want to be as close as possible to the loot drop so we can go fetch it later. Boom! Up in your face. I need to make sure that's point blank range, then I kill most zombies in one shot. But if it, it's, if it isn't that point blank like it just did, then they survive it somehow. Please tell me we have a... No, we don't have an engine yet. Come on. I miss the fact that engines can stack in the modded series. Oh, it's full of here. Okay. But yeah, in the modded series, uh, the engines at least can stack. The batteries are still separate, but the engines could stack. So now we're going to run out of space faster because both the battery and the engine can't stack. And as you guys can see, my stamina runs out really fasting when rain, really fasting, really fast when wrenching. Um, so I need to go into the salvage operations perk and I need to go into sexual tyrannosaurus more. But before that, we need to actually enhance that skill tree first. 
What I mean by that is these skills over here, the attribute. I need to advance the attribute first before I can get any more of these things. Oh wait, I thought I went for sexual. What did I go for then? Oh, I went for the mini bike. We do have one skill point over here, so let's just do. You know what? Since we're busy, busy with cars, I don't care about the uh, stamina. I care about what we get. Hopefully, with this, it's going to help me a little bit more. Yes, there's the engine right there and the battery. Just with one skill level. So what's all four skill levels going to give you? There's four, right? Um, so, oh, five. If four gave me an engine that easily and a battery, how much is gonna, level five going to give me? I don't want to loot anything except just wrench the cars. Um, because the stuff we need is only from the cars at the moment. I don't want to loot this place because we're going to loot later as we do block by block. Please give me some awesome loot. I need another engine, I think, for the cement mixer. And unlucky. So it seems it was a one-off lucky thing. <laughs> but I'm not going to complain because, damn, we needed it. Now I can finally make the mini bike, and as soon as we have the mini bike, you can go for the loot drop because it's going to be super, super easy. Okay, pick up, pick up, don't leave anything behind. We do have coal already. I need to come back to this place because this is the next thing we need to loot. I'm just going to mark that there because of... Yeah, have you guys noticed? We don't even need to put the, um, the waypoint, the temporary waypoint, the red way marker. We don't have to put it where the drop is because you can see the drop. So now instead of moving your marker away from the building you want to do, usually I, have to, I this one over here, set quick waypoint. Usually I have to put that on the drops to see exactly where it is. But now through the buildings you can see it, not just only on the minimap. I love this feature. I mean it's a little bit unrealistic, but I love it. Oh, I'm so close, aren't I? It's right there, but I need to turn. Oh wow, I'm actually going skew. I need to go straight. And more iron. I should mark this iron on the map. I just realized the one node that I chopped up over there. I never marked. So I'm not going to remember where it is. I'm just going to do this. Mark it as iron. Uh, like so. And then later when we have better tools or an auger or something. No wait, I need to leave this. Later when we have better tools and an auger or something, we'll be able to dig this whole mound over, out of here. Let me guys, underneath these nodes. Why is my... Oh, it's uh, because of the stamina skill. That sickle... No, I didn't even go into that. It feels like my stone axe is way faster. But yeah, um, in modded versions... The resources underneath the boulders. Um, and then it also tells you what you can expect from those boulders. But here, normal boulders only give you stone. And these nodes, underneath the nodes, are, are the resource deposits. Or the, re uh, the ore veins. I hope I'm actually holding in my pushy talk enough. Um, I think my mouse is going to give out soon as well. Because I, I only do pushy talk to cut out the background noise. Um, especially over here, it's sometimes so noisy, even when I sniff and stuff like that, it gets caught on the recording. So now I can make sure if I want to cough or sneeze or whatever, all I need to do is let go of the button. But the problem is, holding the button in 24-7 actually does harm to the mouse, in my opinion. I mean, it might not really do it, but I feel it does damage. Okay, so what do we need over here? We need to take a few things off. Uh, the torches we definitely use, the knife we definitely use. See, we can actually exchange things like this. I just want to make sure everything we need on us, we have on us. I'm going to put the bow away. Wire tool we can grab as well. And then... What else do we always need with us? Wrench. And then I can hold this over here. Okay. So these we're going to take with us anyway. That's why I have it on the bike. But <laughs> I just realized we're going to make the mini bike as well now. So that might not be necessary. So we can just do this. Okay, we need three slots now first before I can actually do that. So we're going to drop these. And that should be enough to quickly do this. Grab these three or four things. And mini bike. 1 minute 12. Not bad. So I'm going to be able to put all my stuff away. Okay, I can sell one of the jackets. Yes. I'm going to be able to put all my stuff away now. And you know, just do a little bit of inventory sorting before I need it. So let's just quickly put everything away. And then we'll have our mi a mini bike right now. I just need to also grab the gas. Don't forget it. Although I can't drive without gas. So the chances of, of getting that is really, really slow. Okay, mods, clothing, everything goes in here. Okay, so I just noticed all together we have 7,000 gas. That is really impressive. This should be done. And I'm just going to pick up my bike quickly then. I need to make sure the bike's always here at the base. So if I were to die, I could just grab my bike and go back to where I left off. Also, I want to quickly stop by the trade and just see if she doesn't have that mining helmet. I don't really check the inventory. I just checked for the stuff that we actually needed. Okay, so bicycle, we can put it here. I need to make more storage chests as well. 
But I'm trying to hold off on that until we're able to um, get a proper base that we can use. At the moment, I don't want to waste my time over here. Okay, I'm going to do this. Let's just fill this back up. So there is actually gas in there. We don't have to worry about that. And pick up. Okay, so now we just quickly have to run to the trader. Yeah, we're going to do nighttime looting again. So we can go for that drop chest during the night. Double click E. Yes, I love it when it does that. And then we just need to make sure our guns are always, always reloaded. Yes. Okay. Now, please, you say me you have something for me. Oh, I just l left the dukes and stuff as well. Can you believe it? Although, I don't think we have enough anyways to buy anything of it. I just want to make sure she has good stuff. Buckshot? What's the difference between buckshot and blunderbuss ammo? Used to make... Oh, okay. Used to make shotgun ammo. It's been such a long time since I actually made shotgun ammo this way, so I, I don't really always remember stuff like that. Okay, uh, if I can find a helmet like right now, guys, I'm going to be so happy. Antibiotics I also need to actually buy, but we do have this one herbal antibiotics over here. So as soon as we get infected, we just have to drink that and we should be safe. Now these first aid bandages I might want to buy, but that's about it. I'm just going to grab the stuff we can sell, guys. I can't believe I just left the base without grabbing the stuff we really need to be able to sell. At least now we have the mini bike, so we don't have to run or... Use up all the stamina, then climb off and face zombies and be able to run away. So now we're going to be a lot safer, I think. And then as soon as the mini bike's down, I'll put the spear back on. I need to use my spear more. But as you guys can see, I'm actually slowly but surely moving away from the spear, just using ammo on guns and stuff. I mean, that's, a, that's the point. You want to be able to just have guns and ammo, and you don't have to worry about melee. Although, melee does preserve ammo, but if you have a ton of ammo, what does it matter? Okay, so we're going to sell this, this this and this oh she doesn't want it okay um three two thousand coins of here if i can do more quests and stuff i'll be able to get the rest needed to get like proper guns i mean imagine i could take this ak right now guys but i can't it's too expensive although i do have until day seven to be able to afford it and we do have 762 ammo so if i can if i can just sell enough stuff loot enough stuff to sell all that then we should be set we don't have to worry about horde night even if I can just afford this one, 3.4. It's level 3, sure, but at least I'll be able to use my AK. I already have 762 ammo, so obviously it makes sense to be able to do that. Okay, anything else I might need over here? Technically, I do need the Grave Digger, uh, because I want to be able to use a stone shovel and one shot or two shot those other items. Okay, uh, first aid kits, thank you, and antibiotics. Okay, so next episode, guys, we're going to focus on quickly going for that drop over there. And then we're going to complete the rest of the outskirts of this whole town. As you guys have seen thus far, we're actually making great progress, or good progress. Um, for now, I need to actually make sure we have enough lockpicks always. I mean, we still have 13 left, which is really impressive for the last two episodes. Uh, I think we started with 24, and we have 13 left from all the looting and stuff like that. So if we can just make sure... Ooh, I'm hungry. If we can just make sure we are always um, selling stuff, always finding stuff... We'll be able to buy really awesome stuff real soon. I mean, imagine being able to have an AK for the Day 7 Horde. I think that's really going to come in handy. Especially since we have 125 shots right here. And we have a mod that we can put on the gun. Two mods. So it's going to be lighter during the night. And there's going to be a red remover. So it just ups the, the damage. Yeah, but I think, I think I'm going to call it episode here. But I do want to check quickly though. Can I make more lockpicks? Although, unfortunately, I have to use all my mechanical parts to do so. I mean, the more lockpicks we can make, the better. I don't want to worry later on. Do we have more iron? Yes, 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 yes. And we need to use chairs as well. I keep on wasting my own frames and wood. So we're just going to do this. That should be... Uh, even four chairs, I think, a stretch. So they go for three chairs. And then we're going to make more iron over here. So I'm just going to wait for this to finish. And then we're going to make lockpicks. And yeah, see you guys next episode. If you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback that I miss anything you guys think about this episode? Anything at all? Leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.